Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're gonna to be covering Superbond's vicious KO, another head kick that he just scored against Ozkin. Ozkin came over from Europe into 1FC, and I remember many people saying, man, this dude's gonna be the champion. This guy is so good, people don't understand. Well, he had his opportunity to fight Superbond, and Superbond just lit him up with a left head kick. Beautiful, let's break this down today. One of the things that impresses me most about Superbon at this point is his strategy is not a surprise. Everybody knows he's coming with high kicks. We see him work high kicks time and time again on the pads with his with uh, trainer Gay, I think, and all the time it's a high kick, high kick, high kick, high kick. You know it's coming. And he's still putting people out with them. That speaks just how good he actually is with them and how difficult it is to actually have a good defense. Because usually, if I was gonna fight somebody like him, I'd just say, hands up. Like we're just never gonna let him land to the head. Even if it comes off the glove and I don't get my arm across, he's not landing something flush. But he still manages to do it against the best fighters in the world. Now one of the first things I wanna show you from the fight is Superbond's ability to throw round kicks at head level as he backs up. This is something that many people are not good at, but Superbon thrives on it. And when we saw him KO Giorgio Petrosian, if my memory serves correct, he was within range, and then Giorgio moved in a little bit, and he did a little jump, a little jump step back to land the right high kick. Today we see him get a little bit flustered, not flustered, sorry, a little bit pressured. He backs up, controls the distance, and throws a head kick as he's moving backwards. And the speed at which he gets his head kick up is phenomenal. It also speaks to how fantastic his balance is when executing these kicks. Now, if somebody stopped and asked me, Gabriel, what is Superbond's most dangerous weapon? I would have said, the right round kick. The right round kick, especially at head level, is so dangerous. But in this fight, we see him starting to light Ozkin up with the left round kick up to head level. And this is something which is great because he can do it where he switches his feet, but even more importantly, he can just do it from stationary. He's just standing there and just blasts it in. And what I always notice about Superbon when he throws his kicks is his head doesn't shift dramatically. It's not like when he throws, he has this dramatic need to lean backwards. And a lot of times people do that because they don't have the flexibility or the strength that's required to keep their head up high. But when Superbond does it, he's able to stand here and just boom, fire off. He's good at getting elevation through his standing leg and this lead leg, no skip, head level round kick right from the onset of this fight. We see that this is gonna be a problem for Ozkin and it's gonna be a massive part of winning strategy for Superbond. Now one of the setups that I like to this kick which we see him execute is he just sticks his jab. Right, he sticks it out. When the, the, when the jab is coming down the middle, most guys are either gonna parry or they're gonna tighten up. Either way, that leaves their vision slightly blinded down the middle. So he sticks, he leaves it, and he pulls back as the head kick comes out. And that's just a fantastic way to disguise this because just straight up, standing there and throwing, you have to be exceptionally fast, which Superbon is, but if you can add in that distraction technique, that is just something extra to make it even more difficult to block. Now, as we close in later in the fight, we see Ozkin getting more and more aggressive with his hands, really trying to put the pressure on Superbon. Good idea, but what he doesn't account for is the fact that Superbon is gonna keep throwing that left round kick up to head level even after he finishes his punches. And we talked early on about Superbond's balance being so superb. What we see here is pretty exceptional. Superbond takes a right hook and his weight gets shifted to the side. He uses that to ride into the left high kick. He's not somebody who has to just throw it when he's 100% balanced. And this is amazing timing because Ozkin throws and then his hand doesn't come directly back to his head and he's just exposed for a split second. And that is enough for Superbond to find that chin and land and drop him. I know many people are probably going, my 
gosh, what I wouldn't give to have high kicks like Super Bond. I kind of think the same thing too. Yes, my flexibility is very good. Yes, I can throw it up there. A lot of times I still rely on my hands and I go, oh, I should throw those kicks more. But if you're wanting to improve your high kicks, I already have a video, I have multiple videos, but one I'm gonna link up here, which you can follow along with, which will help open up your hips and just increase that ability to throw head kicks. In addition, if you want to have the ability to just sort of lift your leg up and throw those kicks no problem, move around, just flick them up, then you can do sort of my Jean-Claude Van Damme style video follow along. You might go, oh, okay, well, you know, putting your foot up here and pulling it and extending and holding, that's karate style, but that's very much gonna help you on these kicks and the execution which you want when throwing up to head level with the leg. So be sure to check out those two videos and just overall, another massive performance from Superbon. He said at the end, he wants the rematch with Alizov. He wants his belt back. That is a fight that I would love to see again because I felt like in this one against Ozkin, who's very hand heavy, very pressure based fighter, I think Superbon's hand defense had improved. He was not using the long guard this time, which in the past he used a lot. And I said in another video that I'd like to see him get a little better in the shell so that when this doesn't work and he falls to here, he's able to move his head or just ride shots off the forearms. And he did that very nicely. Did he train it? I don't know. Maybe it just worked better against Ozkin against those other guys. Maybe he had a better level of comfort. But either way, I thought he looked really good and I would love to see that rematch with Alizov. So that's all for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, you enjoyed getting to see another clip of Superbon landing that amazing high kick. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. Join the channel, get subscribed if you have not already. As always, guys, train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.